This tutorial will demonstrate how to import a SVG file into the eCraft Shop Pro software. This is the software that comes with the eCraft cutting machine. This software is version 2.0.10. To check the version you have, click on Help in the menu bar, then click on About eCraft Shop Pro, and you'll notice next to version it is 2.0.10, and click OK to exit. If you do not have this version, contact Craftwell customer support to find out how to obtain the update. There are a few ways to import a SVG file. First we can click on the word file, come down to import SVG, and you'll notice to the right there are a few shortcut keys. If you hold shift and the control key and the I key all at the same time, you will have a window appear that will allow you to import a SVG. And there's an icon on the main screen as well. And you can tell if you just hover your mouse over these different icons, a little menu text will come up to tell you what these different icons are for. We are going to single click on the import SVG. A new window will appear. And I'm going to select the font from the Alphabet 2, which was we downloaded from part one. Um, and this font comes from the myvinyldesigner.com. So I'm going to double click to open these folders and I'm going to select the letter B. Feel free to choose any letter that you would like. And you can either double click on the letter or click on the letter and then click the word click the word open. You notice around the letter once it imports there are a few editing tools and if you don't have these tools you can use the select tool which is found on the left hand side above the T for text. If you just hover your mouse you see the word select just go ahead and click that and then click on your letter and you'll see your editing tools and by just hovering your mouse you can see the different options that you have this top left corner is a skew then you have resize rotate resize 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 rotate and move and if you notice up on the top you see a W and an H these tell you the height of the letter and I'm going to make mine to be about a 10 by 10 size so to do so you just left mouse click once onto the arrow and just begin to drag but you have to hold it down so and as I said I'm going to make mine about a 10 by 10 so I've got the width and now I'm going to go down to the height and one great feature would be able to have the option to just type this in manually and hopefully eCraft will um, incorporate this on their upgrades because they are continuing to upgrade the software. This is close enough so I'm going to go ahead and stay there. And if I want to center this I can use the move key here and just move it back and forth and again if you don't have those keys you can use your select key to get your editing tools back up. And there is another option to get this centered on your page with it um, with the letter selected there's an option for center align this icon right here and if you just click that while the letter is selected you see that it goes to the center of the page for you and now we are going to go ahead and add some text and we're going to use the text tool and just single click and then click anywhere on the page where you want the text to be added and if it did not if this little cursor does not appear in the place you want it that's okay we'll have a choice to move it here in a minute so go ahead and add your text. I'm using all capital letters. It's up to you whether you would like to do the same. And there are a few formatting tools. Um, you have bold, italicize, and your font choices. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change my font um, to this one here. I cannot begin to pronounce the name. A-N-G-A-N-S-A -A, I think it is, and it's really kind of small, but these fonts are all based on what's on your computer so you may not have this font because it may not be in your computer but that's okay just go ahead and choose any font I'm actually gonna go ahead and bold mine because I like the thicker look and um, if you click on the tile size you can see that but I'm not much of a fan for that for this project I'm and then gonna use the move tool to place this where I'd like it and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the resize option you just click and drag and hold it down at the same time and just kind of estimating and guessing or just using your judgment of where you would like it lined up and just using the different tools you can resize this option 
And to me, that looks pretty good. And so um, we can preview what we have on our page. If you click on the preview icon, which is this one right here, and single click, a new window will appear. And you can see that we have um, our letter from the My Vinyl Designer Alphabet 2, and then we've added text um, to this as well. We're going to go ahead and save this project. There are um, two options for that. You click on the word File and come down to Save Project As, and you notice again to the right there are a few shortcut keys. If you hold the Shift, Control, and S button, you also can save your project that way. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to go ahead and give it a name and you can go ahead and save it wherever you would like. And uh, the eCraft Shop Pro saves their files as, their project files as CRW files. So after you have your name inputted, go ahead and click click on save. So, that's it.